Farmers at it again, this time targeting a Butler County man who almost lost $300,000. Monroe police, they're investigating now, and they think somehow they got remote access to his computer. Ken Brown live in Monroe with more on this. Yeah, and uh, Maggie, Megan, if this backdrop looks familiar to you, it's because I was standing here yesterday talking about a scam where a grandparent couple were scammed out of $3,000. Today, back in the same spot because Monroe police are also investigating a scam where a man nearly lost 100 times that amount. Into my email, started going through my emails, and I had an alert that said there's suspicious activity on my fifth third account. If you think you've heard this story before, you're wrong. We've reported in the past about how links and downloads from scammers via email can compromise your computer and give them a door into your personal information. Randy Abbott knows that. I immediately just trashed that email and went to my online banking. And uh, when I pulled up my online banking, Abbott believes scammers already had access to his computer and recreated his online account because the screen displayed all his usual charges and there was an alert for a $300 charge to PayPal that he didn't make. After clicking the alert, he got a call from someone he believed to be working for his bank's fraud department. That person supposedly initiated a refund and claimed Abbott typed in the wrong amount as they were going through the process. This supposed to say 300, this is 300,000. The guy goes, oh my Lord, I screwed up. Either your, your key's stuck on your computer or you hid it for too long or something. They convinced Abbott the issue had to be resolved at his Fifth Third Bank branch via a wire transfer. He goes, man, I hope I don't lose my job. Kept telling me about him losing his job and playing on my sympathies and stuff. Turns out one of the banks involved puts a 24 hour hold on wire transfers. And Abbott says when he sat down and thought about it, things didn't seem right. So he was able to flag and cancel the transfer before his money disappeared. And so this case is interesting because he says that the email was sent to him on a Friday. He thinks that the scammers in this case were trying to use the weekend to clear that 24 hour window. He didn't see it until Monday and this whole issue started on Monday. The money actually wasn't transferred back into his account until Friday. So imagine the stress of $300,000 missing throughout the week, but it was finally put back on Friday. He also says the Monroe Police Department was quick with this one. They were on it and he says that through their investigation, the scammers in this case aren't overseas. He and he says the investigators believe that they're right here in the U.S. they're still working this case. Reporting live in Monroe, Ken Brown, Fox 19 now.